Should you fix up your home before you sell it, or sell it as is and get it over with? This is Anas Tayor with Whistle Realty Group. And many of my friends and family and clients have been asking me this question anytime they would like to sell a home. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the tips that I usually give them whenever they ask me that. When it comes to selling a home, every situation is different. When a seller sometimes is in a distressed situation, such as going through foreclosure, being in a divorce situation, or having an unfortunate death in the family, these sellers need to, need to sell quickly. So it would make sense if they sell a little bit below market value in exchange for the convenience and the speed of the transaction. These homes usually end up going to a local investor that's going to take on the project, put on some work into, pro in the, into the property, and then put it back on the market for a fair market value. If you find yourself in a situation like this, reach out to me. I work with some of the best investors in town that will give you a cash offer and reclose as fast as five days. On the other hand, if you are not a distressed seller and you just want to sell your home, there's a few things to consider. First, study your market. A real estate professional can help you have a clear understanding of your local market and help you gauge the demand of a house like yours. Second, get an inspector. If you've been living in the house for over 12, 15 years, there might be, there might be some significant improvements you need to, to do to your home. Uh, you're thinking electrical system, plumbing, foundation, roof, sidings, you name it. Uh, an inspector will give you a clear idea about what needs to be, to be done, what needs to be changed, and if your home is up to current code standards. And remember, most home buyers are using the lender to buy their, to finance and buy their, uh, their, their property. So these, if there's any structural issues with the home, a lender will never sign off on that loan until they see that those issues have been addressed and, be, and, and everything's been taken care of. So be prepared. Third, let's say you wanna do some cosmetic repairs to the house, you gotta be smart about what you're choosing. Today, I'm going to give you three top tickets that, you sh that would give you the highest return on your investment. The first one is flooring. You'd be surprised and amazed what a brand new carpet or refinished hardware floors will do to, your, to the value of your home. Second, kitchen and bathrooms. Installing brand new countertops and new cabinets will add a tremendous value to your home. Uh, sometimes you can get away with just repainting the, the cabinets and add in brand new hardwares and boom, you get your, your return on investment instantly. Third, windows. I noticed that today's clients and home buyers, they all want dual pane new, new windows. So if you can you can afford it, go ahead, you won't you, you won't regret it. But before you go ahead and do all these improvements, please study your market. Look at what's been sold for the past six months to a year and pay close attention to the finishes that have been done to the house in order to get that price point. Um, Oftentimes, it's way better and more beneficial for you to price the home well, price it just right to sell, and let the buyer figure out the finishes and figure out the, the colors they want to put in their ba bathrooms, their kitchens, and their countertops. So, with that being said, if you're considering selling your home, give me a call, let's get together and figure out the best options for you. Phone number is 619-757-0191. Talk to you soon.